is recording. Hey everybody, today is Saturday afternoon. Um, we're at the intersection of Northern Boulevard and Douglaston Parkway. We're in the CVS parking lot right now. What we're gonna do today is gonna head east on Northern Boulevard and we're gonna cross two towns. We're gonna go from Little Neck to Great Neck to the end of Manhattan. And uh, my partner's here with me today. So let's go. So this is CVS Pharmacy, heading east. This is the uh, broken down house. And then this is St. Anastasia Parish Center. It's like a Catholic church and a Catholic school, private school. So we're in Little Neck right now. Look at all these big, gigantic houses. They look like mansions, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, they look like mansions. Probably over a million dollars. And some of them are even connected to each other. Yeah. So in Little Neck, there are a lot of Koreans that live here. So we'll see a lot of Korean stores here. And this part that's boarded up, it used to be a stop and shop. And the plan is to build a Chinese supermarket here in the next few months. So there's going to be a very huge Chinese supermarket right over here. And then there's a McDonald's over there. And also a pet It's store. where we just got lunch from. <laughs> yes, after this video, we're going to go home and eat McDonald's. Yeah. So these traffic lights, they're usually like a minute long. So right now we are at the intersection of 249th Street and Northern Boulevard heading east. The next street is Little Neck Parkway. And in front of us is the, is the, the Queens 12 bus because we're still in Queens right now. But once we get past the borderline, we'll be in Nassau County. Yes, yes, it's that white articulated bus up there. Oh, so the next street is Marathon Parkway. And then this is the Little Neck Post Office. And then here we have a real estate office yeah. with some castle chicken yeah and now there's the chinese restaurant that we always get food in and then here's benjamin moore oh and that's the articulated bus from earlier here's bouquet chase yeah. banking area and then a funeral home there's a lot of interesting things in Little Neck, actually. So now, this is still in Queens County, but once we pass the once green we, light, it's gonna be Nassau County, you see? Once, once we, we pass, once we get that intersect, once we pass that intersection, then we're officially on Long Island. Yes, so now we're officially on Long Island. This is the beginning of Great Neck. So we're not part of New York City anymore. Yeah. And look at all these. Uh, and then there's a lot of cars here. I just, for car friends, there's a lot of cars here. And you can see some zooming by over there. Yeah, that's BMWs. Mercedes. Let's see, Elantra. Mercedes, BMWs. I wonder why Cadillac would be here, like honestly. And then up front is Maserati and Alfa Romeo. Yep. Luxury cars. Maserati and Alfa Romeo's here. Gold Coast Maserati, Alfa Romeo. So we're still on Northern Boulevard. And here's a Vietnamese restaurant that's gonna open up soon. Restaurants over here, there's a pizza place. 
both buildings here. Er, that used to be an old sprint shop. Yeah, Very I went disgusting. Out of, I think I went out of business. So they're doing renovation inside. Yeah, Verizon Wireless. Oh yeah, it used to be for Verizon Wireless. And we have another car over there. That looks like a Maserati to me. I think it's an Infiniti. Mavis discount tire. And then this is where the gas station area begins. Look, here's the Lexus. We have Shell. And then we have Lexus. Right over there, another dealership. to uh, the Great Neck uh, Long Island Railroad train station, the main street area of Great Neck. through the gas station you know uh, you can do that it'll, it'll be illegal so you see that orange bus that's the Nassau County bus it's different from the blue one the blue one's New York City the orange is Nassau County oh here's the animal hospital coming up the Na Na Nassau County bus stands for inter Nassau Intercity Express. More dealerships. And then more dealerships for more car fans. Wow. Yay. Look at that red car. Put that put the models of those cars in the comments below. <laughs> wow, so many Maseratis parking on the street. And Alfa Romeos as well. Yeah, wow, look at this whole parking lot. And Alfa Romeos. Yeah. Wait a second. Why is there a Bentley over there? That's a Bentley. Why is there a Bentley in here? Really? Yeah. And here's a Vapline instant oil change with the car wash. Yeah, car wash. $15. And the Audi dealership for even more car fans. You can't see the cars that well though. borderline of Great Neck and Man Manhasset. Manhasset starts at the bottom of that hill, as you see. Yeah. Manhasset starts at the bottom of this very hill. But I don't actually, think you can see it that much. And we're actually heading towards those forests. Yes. But it's actually not a forest. It's just very tall trees. There's tons of houses underneath. 
<laughs> so it's actually not a forest that we're going that we're heading into. It's just that all the houses are underneath all these tall trees that looks like a big forest. And that's why it's called a suburb. Because there's a lot of trees in the suburbs. After we get down this like this curved hill, then we're officially in Manhasset. Which a lot of people call home. So the word Manhasset is from the Indian tribe that used to live around here. They were the tribe of Manhasset, or these uh, Native Americans. So that's why this area is named after them. Well. Yeah, that's when the first inhabitants lived or discovered an asset. 1680, that is like, uh, what, 500 years ago? 400 years ago? Like 400 that's years like... Ago. That's uh, at least 320 years ago. Yeah. And over there is the big Macy's uh, shopping center. Big, big shopping, uh, a big, big parking lot. All right, so this is the border of Great Neck and Manhasset. Once we cross this community drive, we're gonna get to the town of Manhasset. Settled 1680. And this pond's like almost frozen. Look, it's yeah, really this, a, is, this is called Whitney Pond. There's literally a goose standing on the water. That's like illegal. Whitney Pond. And then here's a very big Macy's shop. Yeah, this is like one of the biggest. Holy moly, look how big the store is. Almost a thousand car, almost a thousand cars park here in a single period of time. Supplies Plus was back there, and that's where Bubbles gets it, like his food and stuff. Oh, here's the Honda dealership. And then here's Infinity and Honda for even even more car fans. And then, and then that, and then that's another gas station, and then also that's the road to to go to Plandom. But we're going to the end of Manhasset, not Plandom. We could do another one on that though. Tell me in the comments. Yeah, we could do that in, in another video. So if we make a left turn over here on Plandom Road, we will head to Manhasset train station, Long Island Railroad Main Street, Main Station. And that's where downtown Manhasset is. Yes, yeah, so and if you go a little bit farther down that road, it gets you to plan them. I like they're just so incredibly long here. Nordstrom rack and I think a, and I think a lot more. Yeah, DSW is here too. Yes. And you can see Nordstrom rack. Alright. Alright. So this used to be 
be Lord and Taylor, but they closed down and now they call Sax Works. So you could rent like office space in there now. And then this is a wedding salon of Manhattan. A lot of closed stores in the shopping closet. Many closed areas. Yeah. Most of them are out of business or closed. Yeah. Oh, look. Bonds and Nobles is here. This is the big bookstore. And then, wow, look at this. It's IHOP. That's a restaurant where you can eat, like, a lot of pancakes and milkshakes. And then there's a really big school up there. You just have to see how big it is, cause. And then that's Munzee Park School. It's a very big field. Wonder if a plane can land there. Put your answer in the comments below. And then that's like the bus area where the buses go, where they drop kids off. And then just up ahead is Americana. And then that's the end of the video yeah we're gonna do Amer americana on another video because yeah. americana mall is where all the luxury stores are it's just like the fifth avenue of long island yeah hermes there louis vuitton is there tiffany's is there apple store is there uh, we have crate and barrel there yeah lucid dealership is in there tesla is, is in there Yes, there's a lot of dealerships in here. Yeah, it's really the Fifth Avenue of uh, of Long Island. All the luxury stores, all the luxury brands are in there. I think Lululemon is in there too. Crate and Barrel. And what's this? Charles Schwab, Mitchell Gold. We're gonna make another video of that inside later. Yes, and uh, maybe some other day we might make a we might make a tour where we go even further into Long Island. Yeah. Yes, this is only like the very edge. Yeah, Lulu Lemon, Urban Outfitters, Vineyard Vines, Peloton, Lucid. I like Lucid. Sephora, Ralph Lauren, Tiffany's. Hermes, Prada, and there are actually other stores on the other side of this building too. So this is just the front, the front store. Yes, the back exactly. Store has other. Yes, and we're gonna do a tour of that in another video. Yeah, so that's Versace. borderline of Manhasset and Roslyn but we're not gonna go to Roslyn because that's gonna be it for another video yes we might put all of our tours of Long Island in a playlist yeah we should do that but this is just a brief int introduction yes of... we're still at the very edge of Long Island yeah, because we it's just an introduction of Little Neck, Great Neck, and Manhattan. Because we could really like drive around and tour, you know, these little towns. 
but not little, but a pretty big town. Okay, Searing Town Road. So now we're in the town of Manhattan. And you know what? We are gonna stop the video here. Okay? Okay. Uh, see you. What was your favorite part of the video? Put it in the comments. And let, and let us know. Maybe bubble will maybe bubbles will like your comments. Okay, so I guess the video ends here. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.